Live from the world's capital markets, here are the financial headlines brought to you by Vantage. Hello and welcome to Wednesday's financial news. Stay with us for more market headlines. Stocks in Asia rose as China officially announced it will end quarantine for inbound travelers on January the 8th, symbolizing an end to its zero COVID policy that it's held for nearly three years. The nation also downgraded COVID to a less strict Category B from its current top level Category A. Crypto lender Vold said the potential acquisition by rival Nexo has been cancelled some five months after the two signed an initial agreement to explore the transaction and less than a month before the Singapore-based target has come up with a restructuring plan. European shares moved higher as China's relaxing its COVID-19 curbs more raised hopes of a recovery in the world's second largest economy. The Bitcoin dollar pair plummeted 1.4% in the last session. According to the Williams indicator, we are in an oversold market. The last session saw the gold rise 0.6% against the dollar. The ROC's positive signal is in line with the overall technical analysis. Volkswagen's stock fell 0.5% in the last session. The stochastic indicator indicates an oversold market. The Aussie dollar pair made a minor downwards correction in the last session, dropping 0.1%. The ultimate oscillator is giving a negative signal. The US MBA mortgage applications will be released at 1200 hours GMT. The US Red Book Index at 1355 GMT. The US EIA crude oil stocks change at 1530 GMT. The US five-year note auction will be released at 1800 hours GMT. The Austrian purchasing manager index at 0900 hours GMT. Korea's industrial output at 2300 hours GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed Wednesday's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.